Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with another box. I have my apothecary at home for April 2022. So if you guys are new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Lisa and on my channel I like to do lots of witchy things including unboxings. And if you are an herbal or green witch, this box may be for you. So apothecary at home, their, um, their little motto is make your own medicine. This is my third box from them and I think it's really freaking awesome. So you get the box, plus you get um, like a, bu a bunch of paperwork and you also meet for, God, I think the meetings are like an hour to, to two hours worth um, about the box and you can ask questions to the creator. So anyways, super cool box. So let's get right into it. And our theme is Wild Woman Wellness. Very nice. And you can choose to get the paper printout or, um, or the digital. I got the paper printout because I was gonna print it anyways. Um, but I guess like if I was a better person, I could be like um, more green and not print it out. <laughs> All right. So it says inside this box, hello, dear herbalist. This month, we're excited to help you tap into your inner wildness as we, as we learn how herbs can support the entire female life cycle from maiden to mother to crone. Here's a list of all the wonderful things inside this box. We can hardly, we hardly had womb <laughs> to fit everything. Great and wonderful. All right. So let's see what's in the box and and sorry, my friends are texting me. <laughs> Dang it, my necklace keeps swinging backwards. I'll just put that on. Okay. Um, I believe that we always get little art prints, and I believe that the owner of this box's mother is the one that um, that does these. Put that over there. That that paints these. So we've got this. Herby Herb. I'm not going to even try to pronounce the Latin names for it. <laughs> then we have this guy. And this guy. So very nice to put in your herbal grimoire. Throw that over there. All right. So, yes, it says 5x7 Botanical Illustrations by Ver Vergi or Vergi, probably Vergi. Note that the three artworks are shrink wrapped together. Okay, they're just letting us know that. Okay, very good. All right, and then you always get these little labels so that you can put on your concoctions so you know um, what it is and like dates and stuff like that. So then we have this little envelope and it is apparently from Wolf and Time because there's a 10% off code. So bonus gift, let's see. Wild Woman, okay, hold on. Oh, here it is. Okay. So this must go with this. So it's a gift from Wolf and Time. I also subscribe to Wolf and Time. And it has um, what are their cards? Just about their subscription boxes. It's got that little card. There's the info. Um, I have lots of videos on Wolf and Time. They've got three different boxes. Their regular Wolf and Time, which I believe is like $28 a month, very reasonable. And then their Luna Lux box, which I think is about $75. Not, not completely sure on that price. And then their Bone and Steel, which is geared, it's like a Norse uh, box geared towards men. But I've gotten two boxes and they're really great. So, and they always have like a premium crystal. So, then it looks like we have some Moonstones in the bottom here and then some sacred salts. I don't know why I'm trying to... <laughs> Can you guys see it up here? <laughs> so anyways, there is that. So it says Wild Women Ritual Bath Kit, Herbal Dead Sea Salt, Crystals and Affirmation, Raspberry Leaf, Blueberry Tea, and Rainbow Moonstone. All right. <laughs> 
know what's in my mouth. Raspberry leaf has the power of love and protection, blueberry shields from negative energy, and rainbow moonstone aligns all chakras, connects you to source, brings optimism, and relieves stress. Sprinkle the salts in the hot water with bubbles. Put your crystals all around the tub and imagine a light orb around you. Light a candle and repeat the divine light mantra as you meditate into self-love. I am divine light. I am the moon. I am divine sight. I am the moon. Very nice. So that goes with that. That was a bonus gift. This also apparently is a bonus gift. Body balance tea by the loose leaf. Um, from what I've seen, um, we get a loose leaf tea from this company so far in all the boxes that I've gotten. So very nice. And this contains lemongrass, it, it's all organic, lemongrass, dandelion, calendula, marshmallow root, hawthorn berry, and lavender. I sell all of those in my shop if you guys are interested. Down below it's linked my witchy shop. I sell lots of herbs, guys. <laughs> all right. Then we have 15 red raspberry seeds. Cute. Very nice. Look at the little baby seeds. So I believe that they always give us seeds too so we can kind of start growing our own stuff. My friends are blown at my phone. All right. So then, obviously, one of our, um, our herbs this month is raspberry. So we have a two ounce packet of raspberry and then this is our other herb we have a two ounce of chastity berry I don't know if I'm saying that right um I have not heard of that one and then they always give you like a bonus herb or mystery mystery bonus herb and we have black cohash root cohash black cohash root and it's in, I think, one ounce, yeah. So one ounce of that. Very nice. And then we have the items to, once we make all of our, um, our goodies, we have um, glass jars to put our stuff in. So we have two of those. And then we have some spray, or no, this is not a spray bottle. This is a uh, uh, essential oil dropper, or not necessarily essential oil, but it's a dropper. So maybe we're going to make like an elixir or something like that. And then, so we have two of those. And then we have these um, cheesecloth thingies that um, we use to like get the essence, you know what I mean? Squeeze all the shit out. <laughs> all right. I think that is all. And they just give a health disclaimer that, you know, talk to a doctor before you use any of these things. So anyways, I don't need that. All right. So, let's look and see what we're going to be making. Um, they give you, oh, this is the other thing. So, they give you some recommended reading. And um, Medical Herbalism is the book that they um, recommended um, right at the beginning. And so, I did get that book. It's a big book. And it's very interesting. So, and then they also um, recommended Period and Hormone Repair Manual, Herbal Healing for Women, and Herbal Remedies for Women. Um, I will try to find these books and link them below in case you guys are interested. Um, it says, this month we received many inquiries around our choice of topic. Why focus on women? As our boxes follow a 12-month curriculum to cover every major body system, we felt it highly important to discuss reproductive health. After all, it cannot be overstated how much of our physical, mental, and emotional wellness is tied to the hormonal fluctuations which accompany each phase of our reproductive cycle. In fact, menstruation, pregnancy, and menopause could each get their own individual boxes as there is such a wealth of information and herbal possibilities for each stage. To keep this month's information digestible, we will briefly review the anatomy and physiology of the female body and moon cycle. We will discuss the four trimesters of pregnancy, and the victory lap that is perimenopause and menopause. I'm sure I'm in perimenopause right now. <laughs> we'll then explore supportive herbal options for common reproductive health complaints and conditions. While we always strive to make our boxes as applicable as possible for everyone, 
We do have a number of subscribers who may not find this information actionable for them personally. This may include female-bodied individuals who don't identify with the maiden mother crone, and also those also include our beloved male healers. Okay. Anyways, I won't read the rest of that. But it talks about the um, divine masculine themed kit. Oh, they have one in the works. Very nice. Um, all right. Then it goes over like in a like an anatomical overview about your reproductive organs, and then herbal actions. Um, like anti-spasmodic, black cohosh, the blue cohosh, motherwort, and cramp bark. Anyways, so it gives you a few different things there. And then um, they give you a monograph of each of the, well, I think of the two focused herbs. So we have our um, chastity berry. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Starter monograph. So it's a bunch of information. Latin name, common names, botanical family, parts used medicinally, herbal actions, energetics and taste, preparation types, and then medicinal uses. Then we have contra, uh, contraindications, synergies, history and folklore, correspondences, and magical uses. So then we also have that for the raspberry. And then um, they give you information on where you can find your own monograph. So for like the black cohosh, since they didn't give us a monograph, we can research our own. Um, and then there's some for the other herbs that they actually included in the box. Okay, project ideas. So we've got simple recipe options for wild women wellness. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see. How to make a simple tincture folk method and it is for the chastaberry. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And black and or black cohosh. How to make an herbal uh, acetum within vinegar. All right, and that acts as minstrum capable. Blah blah blah. blah. All right, herbal electuary recipe. An electuary is a combination of powdered herbs stirred into honey or vegetable glycerin to form a pasty mass. It is particularly useful as a children's remedy or for those who cannot have alcohol. All right. And then bonus recipes, Moontime Tea, Cascades Fertility Formula, History of Miscarriage Prevention Formula, um... I guess I skipped this one. Wild Woman Electuary Recipe. Electuary for building juicy vibrancy. Uh, morning sickness tea. Oil for stretch marks. General pregnancy tea herbal options. Tea for early stages of labor. After birth formula. Goddess herbal sleep pillow. Hot flash cool down tincture. First aid for sleep. All right. And then they've got, um, they give us QR codes. So for starting and transplanting the raspberry seed, um, raspberry identification, harvest and uses, uh, Vitex plant profile with Robin Rose Bennett, Vitex plant profile from Maggie O'Halloran, black cohosh plant profile with Emily Ruff, and how to make an herbal yanni steam. Have you guys ever done a yanni steam? I've heard of it and I know what it is and I don't know. <laughs> me and a friend, me and a couple friends were like, we should go get some Yanni steams together. No, but you can, you can do that with your friends. Okay. <laughs> and then they have a study checklist on the back. So if you're just going to do this as a hobbyist, here's what they suggest that you do. If you want to be in a student or an apprentice, which is do everything. And they give you like chapters to read and all that good stuff. All right, and then they just tell you to keep an eye out for invitation to their Wild Women Wellness class in April. It's an interactive discussion. We'll be talking about the contents of this box, reviewing the medicine-making projects, and answering your questions. Very nice. And then next month, so for May 2022, the it's going to be Herbs for Energy and Focus. Oh, my God, I need that so bad. Learn how herbs can focus... Excuse me. Okay, let's start over. Learn how herbs can support deeply nourishing sleep, 
enhanced focus and long lasting energy throughout the day. You don't want to sleep through this one. I need that one. So that is our apothecary at home for April 2022 Wild Woman Wellness. And I'd love to hear what you guys think of this box. I am super excited. I can't wait to try some of these things. Obviously, I'm kind of over, like beyond the mother, <laughs> the maiden and mother cycle. Sorry, I'm switching my position here. Um, I would be more going towards the crone <laughs> season of my life. So I'm gonna have to dive into these recipes and see what's gonna work for me. And maybe I'll make some um, of the other things to support some of the other females in my life. So we'll see. So if you guys wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and leaving me a comment below what you think of this box, it really helps out my channel. And if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.